Hello, I'm Colin Bradley. I'm going to show you a new pencil, folks. I've been trying out, and it's great. It's a graphite pencil, or a series of graphite pencils, five in all in the box, and it produces pictures like this. And they're water soluble, so you can use a paintbrush on them to wet them. But there's a very unique way of doing it, and I thought the best way of showing you the pencils and what they do is to use us a little bit of this exercise that I've been playing with. I'm just going to do a little bit of it just to, to finish it off. And then I'm going to use the water to show you how that works. But I think you'll be amazed. They come in a little box like that and very neat. I actually use the box as you'll see because when I put them back it's not very easy sometimes to see, especially with my eyesight folks, all the little numbers on the end although they're quite clear. And so I keep them in a rotation, starting from HB, 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B. And I put them back as I finish with them. But I use all those pencils, and I've used all those pencils in this, and I've used all those pencils in that. The HB pencil is ideally a drawing pencil. So you can, for instance, this enter this wheel. I want this to be a very fine line. You'll see why in a minute. So I'm just going to use the HB just to get fine. They do sharpen to quite fine points like that and that's all I want and you can carry you can do the rest of it in fact it was probably a good idea just to plan I usually call the HB pencil my planning pencil because I can use it just to plan and yeah, just draw that in a little better I don't want to draw it too much because I'm going to be using the other pencils for it but let's just get that see I've got my plan continuing on from that into this broom this is a wheelbarrow and broom that I used to use in so late 1800s to sweep the streets with in the rural areas. So anyway, I'll put that away because I just want to show you all of them. The 2B pencil is my drawing pencil. That's the one I use to draw. And the thing is, they are uh, water soluble. And each pencil is perhaps a little more water soluble than the next, the darker you go. So here I would draw in more detail because I'm sure of what I want there. And maybe down there. But the shading and so on, I leave to the other. The only thing is here, I could just use the 2B as a well-worn broom. This is a few little, see the finer the pencil, the more detail you're able to get like that. So let's move that one back. The 4B is probably my favorite pencil because that's the one that can be used um, for shading. Lights coming from this direction, Bear in mind, what I'm going to be doing in a minute is putting water on this. Now, when I say water, I don't actually use water everywhere. I've got a system that allows me just to pick and choose. Now, this is not necessarily in shade. It's like a secondary light source, really. The six. Now, the six starts getting pretty dark. Here, we can start using the six to enhance just a little more of the... The depth another really good shading tool the six can enhance what I've just done and I'll just put a little bit more on here now just make that look the idea is to try to make this look three-dimensional and a little bit in there maybe the odd little bit of depth why do I need the last one which is the eight now the eight is really dark. That's where all these very, very dark areas come from, and that gives you the punch. The areas like that, for instance, would look good in here. But the eight is really strong and really dark, as you can see. If you really want something almost black. See how good that looks? Anyway, that's just a very, very brief idea of how the pencils actually work. Now I'm using a number six brush. Uh, and it's sable. It's got a lovely point on it. See that? So let's start with something fairly simple over here. We want to get just the right amount of water in it to emulsify what we do. Now in a small area like this, you really need to do the whole thing. And just go, if you want to go right up close, you can go right up. This is why I use the nice point. See how good that is? Let's do the finish the broom off over here now. Now here, here this is where I wouldn't actually over wet those areas of the bristles. I just use the brush and once again you see what I'm doing I'm only just wetting that bit not that bit. 
and I tend to what I tend to do is move on to another area. I would not wet that bit. So let me just show you how this would work. If you didn't wet that bit, just go right along the edge like that. Do it in sections. Now I wouldn't mind at all then doing this one because I wouldn't mind if that strays into that. You see what I mean? It's a good idea to just wet that from the top to the bottom simply because that's going to be a lot darker at the bottom and then you'll be bringing that dark colour back up again. Don't mind a little bit of it coming up but not altogether. It's always worth getting a good quality brush for something like this. And I don't want one to run into the other. That's the key to this. If you don't want one colour running into another, I'm just leaving those dark bits for the moment because they will spread. And now let's do the wheel. Once again, I'm not going to do the light bits that you see. I'm going to leave them. Otherwise, it will look very dull. Now, I have reservations. When I first started doing this, I had reservations about whether or not it did need to have water added because it looks very good as a graphite picture. But I've showed several people the, that other finished picture I showed you and they actually preferred it to the graphite. This is when the watercolour will look really like watercolour. Just put the dark in to start with. Now that looks pretty good. I hope that you've enjoyed that. That's great fun. You could argue, you could ask me, can you then put, while it's wet, can you put the colour, the pencils back in? The answer is you can. You could be a bit careful, but, I mean, that's all dry now, but um, where's a wet bit? That's probably still wet there. If it wasn't, you can actually wet it again, but you can use it. I actually wouldn't do that. I, I don't think there's any need for it. Can you go back over? Now it's dry and put more pencil in? Yes, you can. Anyway, I've given, I've given you enough information. That's how they work. That's what they look like. And I think you'll find, I turned up the right way, I think you'll find they are something that you can play with and thoroughly enjoy using.